Hey, thank you so much for joining me. Tony Gaskins here. I want to talk to you today about something, concept, that I spoke on a long time ago, and it is love versus in love. A lot of times people ask me about this, and I'm going to speak from a male perspective, you know. Um, as for the women, you know what love is, and you know what it's like to be in love. But I'm going to tell you from a man, and, and a lot of times men don't understand this, because some, sometimes men don't understand themselves. And I hear guys talking and I could tell that, you know, these guys have not come into full knowledge of themselves. And some of these guys can be 50, 60 years old because love is the gift that allows us to come into full knowledge of ourselves. And if you don't allow yourself to fall in love, then you'll never realize the depths of your spirit, the depths of your soul. You'll never truly know who you are if you don't have love. If you don't give love purely and wholeheartedly and allow someone to love you equally or greater in reciprocation of the love that you're giving, you'll never truly know who you are. And I realize this. And so I want, I want you to understand especially for men, there's a difference between love and in love. And now people want to get all into the different types of love, you know, the, the, the technical terms like eros and all of these different, you know, words, these big old words from the other languages. Look, it's, it's not that serious, not that deep. And that was a human that wrote that. So understand it could be flawed. But as a love and relationship coach who coaches relationships and coaches individuals on self-love every single day i get to see in the heart of man and woman in the heart of man and woman every day all ages around the globe love is a universal language but there's a difference between love and in love what you need to understand about love is that love in itself can be very shallow love can be very shallow so what i mean by that is with love, love can be, I, I can love this microphone. You steal this microphone and I find out you stole it. I can kick your butt over this microphone because I love this microphone. I love my possession. I can love my shoes. I can love this desk. I can love this, this laptop. You steal this laptop and I find out you stole this laptop. I'm calling the police on you and I'm sending you to jail for uh, grand theft or whatever it's called because it's over $300. So it's you know, grand theft or greater than uh, petty theft. But I'm, I'm sending you to jail because I can love this laptop. So see, that's what we have to understand about love. A lot of people love their dog. A lot of people love their cat. So love can be in many forms, in many ways, but in love, in love is a complete, exclusive love. It is a all-inclusive, all-exclusive love, meaning it's one-on-one, -on -one. meaning that this love is so deep. This love is a sacrificial love. To be in love, you will be 100% faithful, and you will not intentionally hurt this person that you are in love with. Sacrificial love meaning that you will die for this person. I am in love with my wife. I am in love with my two sons. Those are three beings that I will die for. I will die for them. I love my mother, my father, my sister. But see, in love is not just about blood relation. In love is a choice. You don't find in love. You choose in love. You don't fall in love. You walk in love. See, if a person is hurting you continuously, intentionally, they are not in love with you. They, they may have love for you. People say, 
Well, can you cheat on someone you love? Absolutely. Because love is not all inclusive. It's not all exclusive. You can, I, I, I love this microphone, but I can cheat on this microphone with another microphone. But if I am in love with this microphone, this is going to be my mic and my brand and my thing forever. There's a difference between love and in love. And I want you to understand this and realize that, yes, people say, oh, no, you can't cheat on it. If they cheat on you, they don't love you. That's not true. Because love can be, love can simply mean a strong liking of you. Love can just mean an affection for you. Love does not mean that it is completely exclusive to you. So you have to understand that there is a difference. Now, when you are in love, love is strong enough to keep you faithful. So if I'm in love with my purpose and my purpose is teaching healthy relationships, then guess what? Me being in this in this space, I am going to be 100 percent faithful to my wife. Because I'm in love with my wife, I'm in love with my purpose, and I'm in love with God. So I'm in love with my standard for living, my belief system, me being a Christian, me living a Christian lifestyle. I'm not in love with the church. I'm not in love with religion. I'm in love with the lifestyle that a Christian lives, the lifestyle that I'm living, loving my neighbor as I love myself, being faithful to one woman, not lying, not stealing, not killing. I'm in love with the morals and the values and the standards, not the religiosity and the dogma and the greedy pastors. I'm not in love with that. I'm in love with the principles and the teachings and the walk. So me being in love there and me being in love here with my purpose, serving you, teaching you from my mistakes, from my experiences, from what I do every day as a love and relationship coach, it allows me a certain level of access and a certain level of knowledge and wisdom and understanding that may not be privy to you because you don't get to stay home and talk on the phone all day with people from around the world about love and relationships. So what you hear may be limited in the experiences. You know, you don't have an inbox like I have on Tony inbox at Tony that receives thousands of love stories, relationship stories. So your scope may not be as broad as mine. So guess what? I take what I hear, what I learn, what I experience, and I bring it to you to make your life better. That's my purpose. I'm in love with my purpose. I'm in love with my wife. And you know why I'm in love with my wife? Because I allow her to love me and I allow myself to fall in love. I allow her to love me and I allow myself to fall in love. And the reason how I did that, the way I did that is by being 100 percent faithful to her, not cheating on her emotionally or physically. And so in the first two years, I was not 100 percent faithful emotionally in my mind and my spirit. I was wavering. I was getting weak. But then I made a decision at 25 years old, coming through the second year of marriage. I say, I'm going to be 100 percent locked in and focused. I'm not going to have wandering eyes looking around, looking for an opportunity to cheat. I'm going to be locked in. I'm going to be different. Every single man I know is a cheater and I'm going to be different. I, I'm going to see what this feels like. I'm going to see what happens when you love a woman purely, wholeheartedly, without lying, without cheating, without deceiving, without manipulating, without controlling. That is amazing. The, the feeling that I feel, the grace that I feel, the favor that I've received, 
the blessings that have come from operating from a place of love. It is overwhelming. I am truly, truly the richest man on the planet. I'm the richest man on the planet. Because I allow love. Listen to what I'm telling you, especially you men. I allow love to flow through me and to receive love. And I don't keep count. My wife cannot out love me. She cannot serve me more than I'm going to serve her. She cannot bless me more than I'm going to bless her. Because I'm allowing love to flow through me. It's not a competition. I'm not keeping score. I'm not saying, oh, you're not doing this. You're not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm just loving. And then guess what? She reciprocates that love. She reciprocates that love. And it is amazing. And not even when she's not reciprocating. Even when she's not reciprocating it. Just me loving her and being 100% committed and 100% faithful, I receive blessings from God. The universe, whatever you want to call it, but it is principle. It's law that when you operate from love and you flow from love and you put good out, good's going to come back. That's why I'm here today. That's why I'm blessed on this level. You know, uh, Jeff Bezos. Founder of Amazon just went through a divorce. I'm richer than Jeff. Jeff, if, if you know Jeff, you got Jeff email, send this to Jeff. Jeff, you was the richest man in the world. I'm worth more than you now. I'm richer than you because I'm operating from love. When you operate from love, me and my wife can go through a divorce tomorrow. If I choose not to operate from love, if I choose to be selfish, if I choose not to make it work, that's why I wrote the book, Make It Work, because in relationships, we are selfish. We are greedy. We want it to be about us. And we call ourselves, oh, I've outgrown them. I've outgrown them. No, you grew in areas, but they've also grown in areas. So both of you are going to grow in different areas. It don't mean that you outgrown one another. It just means that you're growing and they're growing and you're growing in different ways. And that's why you operate from love and you're selfless and you come together. And when you come together, guess what? Now, being together, you are selfless. You're a puzzle. You strengthen one another. And your strength is in your differences, not in your similarities. See, marriage. What do you see on marriage, on on, on divorce? irreconcilable differences. That's the problem. You feel like you need to reconcile your differences. There is strength in differences, not similarities. So your irreconcilable differences is what's causing a divorce when really that should be the reason you're together. Now, if it's cheating, if it's abuse or what have you, that's totally different. I'm going to talk about that in another video. So you got to catch me um, next Sunday or on another Sunday where I talk about divorce. But understand that if you are going through pain in your relationship, if you're being lied to, deceived, manipulated, taken for granted, cheated on, your partner is not in love with you. And I always get the question, can a man love two women at the same time? Absolutely not. If a man is juggling you and another woman, he is not in love with either one of y'all. Because to be in love in this way, romantically, only one person. Because it consumes the heart. You can only be in love romantically with one person. I'm in love with my sons, but I'm in love with them in a different way. Not romantically. You know, I love them. I love them as a deep love. I will kill for them. I will die for them. That's a deep love. And that is a different love than the way I love my wife. I will kill for her and I will die for her. But it's a romantic love. So it's a different type of love. But understand, it is all consuming. 
I can never disown my sons and 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 own another child and say this not you're not my son you over here my son but this person don't come from me I cannot disown one of my sons for the other one because I love them I'm in love with them so understand in love is all consuming it consumes the heart it takes everything it takes everything in you it's pure it's holy it's righteous Look up those definitions. It's pure. It's holy. It's righteous. It is blemish and spot free. It does not mean that you won't make mistakes, but it means your mistakes won't be intentional. And when you make a mistake, you're going to learn from the mistake and you're not going to repeat that mistake because you are in love. Hey, this is Tony Gaskins. I hope this kind of helps you understand whether you have love or in love. Just my take on it, just my thoughts. Thank you so much for joining me. Hey, make sure you click the subscribe button, whether you're on the podcast, whether you're on the YouTube, subscribe so you'll be notified when I release new videos. Check the description on YouTube, check the links. Got a full day seminar coming up, so keep your eyes out for it. Thank you so much, we'll talk soon.